This video is sponsored by Nothing. Hey guys, Lily here. So I just finished Memory of Chaos series for the new lineup in version 1.2. I finished one floor a day starting from floor 6, so I will not run out of content quickly because Kafka is still far. Using only 4 star characters, I once again obtained 30 stars. Since I'm done with MOC for now, I want to share my thoughts on this version's MOC. I've got 30 stars since the previous rotation, so I'm quite confident with my chance this time. However, it didn't feel as satisfactory as before due to the fact that it's been toned down. The enemy lineup isn't as puzzling, and their elemental weaknesses are quite homogenous in the same half. Floor 6 in the previous rotation gated me pretty hard. The same goes for many other players, but now there's no such tricky floor anymore. Perhaps only the second half of Floor 10 fits that category. On top of that, they also give us a super OP memory turbulence that not only makes our character more tanky, but also deals massive damage throughout the battle. Someone said to me that this is the most forgiving memory of chaos, and I agree with them. In one hand, this rotation will definitely open the door for many players in achieving their first 30 stars, which can be seen as a good thing. But in the other hand, it is too much of a help. To me personally, they shouldn't do it. The turbulence is simply way too strong. It gives a feeling that the 30 star I get this time is not earned, but given. I turtled floor 10 because they put Kafka and Shapeshifter in the same wave, and it's still faster than my run in the previous floor 10. The progression would feel more natural if they cut the turbulence damage in half. They also don't fully utilize the new mobs released in version 1.2 yet. When I met the dog and bounce cannon guy for the first time, my reaction was, this new enemy will be so tricky to fight once they're released in MOC. They have three break unit shield instead of two, the dog can summon extras, and the bounce cannon guy's attack will not be able to be stopped by simple taunt. Floor six and above should be filled with these guys, and yet they rarely appear. It will make the MOC harder and probably prevent many players from getting 30 stars. But I prefer if end game mode stays hard to beat. It might sound elitist, but trust me, in reality, it's not as bad as it sounds in this game. There's a reason why we have 10 floors and more spread out rewards in MOC compared to Genshin Impact's Spiral Abyss. If you can only do two stars in floor eight, nine, and 10 each, players are only missing 60 Stellar Jades every two weeks, which is not a big deal. However, players will have something to pursue. It's psychologically better if players are placed close to something they want to achieve. They're not quite there yet, but close to it. They won't feel discouraged because they know they can do it and just need a little more push. Instead, they will be even more motivated to keep trying. Ego Jinpachi from Blue Lock series call this the flow state. Memory of Xianzhou is the new mode that I praise a lot because it combines the creativity of Forgotten Hall and the difficulty of Memory of Chaos. The last floor especially is very hard for me. I can't three-star it yet, but I'm okay. It can sit there and be my motivation to open Honkai Star Rail every day. I really wish Memory of Chaos is designed like Memory of Xianzhou, but unfortunately in this patch, they took a little step back instead. It feels weird for me to criticize MOC after I praised Memory of Xianzhou in the previous video. I hope they do better in the next rotation. And this turbulence is still the first among the three, by the way. The next two turbulences look even more powerful, so yeah, version 1.2, MOC is really looking like a giveaway from Hoyoverse.